Hey guys, welcome to our six axis robotic arm video. We're really excited about this. We've had the parts printed for a couple of days now and we've just received our electrical and mechanical components for the build from Robotours. We're gonna get started with the unboxing. Just keep in mind that this is a beta kit from Robotours and it may change with our feedback and yours in the comments. <laughs> Did you hit? So we've got the power supply. What do you got? Motors. We got some motors. Just sliding around. That's what I'm talking about. All of our fasteners nicely sorted. I'm gonna make this a lot easier. They actually set an Xbox controller. Yeah, it's like a knockoff brand though. So one thing you're gonna notice is all the different form factors that the motors come in. I want to draw your attention to the great job that Robotours did with these wire runs. I mean, it's already all set up and it looks to be the perfect length. And at this point, it looks like we might not do any soldering because yeah. all of the stepper motors will attach to the stepper driver with screw terminals. Yeah. This is Robotour's big addition uh, to the six axis robotic arm project. And as you can see, again, as it's seven axes, it can control seven axes, which there's no other driver board that I've seen that can do that. Normally you have to run two boards in tandem. What's also interesting is the fact that this um, is gonna be powered by a Raspberry Pi. I personally have never used a stepper driver powered by a Raspberry Pi, so I think it's gonna be very interesting just to see the pros and cons of that. Day one, big mess, small progress. We were able to assemble the base, which will provide the rotational axis, and some of the shoulder, which will provide this axis, but overall we've been plagued by three big problems. All the problems we face stem from the 3D printed parts. The first one right here, we had a brass bushing that just didn't fit into the hole it was supposed to go into. The second problem was that this rigid coupling didn't actually fit between these two parts. And the third one, which is a mishap by us, Dr. D Flow broke this part, so. <laughs> and even worse, so we were originally going for a red and gold color scheme, kind of like Iron Man, but the dark red filament is all sold out. So we're gonna go with dark red, how about glow in the dark? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It, <laughs> we're gonna have to read. So we've already 3D printed the base gear, which will, it now fits the uh, brass bushing perfectly. And we will make the other adjustments and hopefully we'll start making some good progress. But this did ruin our color scheme.
as you can tell, we've actually made a lot of progress this time. In fact, we only have two motors left until we're finished. The first motor is for the last major axis, which is going to be the forearm, which is going to attach to the arm, which will attach to the wrist. The second motor is the servo, and we're still figuring out exactly how this is interfacing with the gripper. It's funny, because at the beginning of the video, I acted like we wouldn't need a soldering iron, because there would be no soldering. But we did need the soldering iron to put these thermal inserts in, which would act as threading. While Future Me finishes up the last axis, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about Robotour's RBX-1. That's this robot's unofficial name. If you're familiar with 3D printed robotic arms, you might notice that this thing looks a lot like Muvio. In fact, almost all of the parts are identical. But Muvio is a fifth axis. Robotour's RBX-1 has an extra axis added right here between the wrist and the gripper. I'm really interested in how Robotour's six axis is going to impact the functionality of a robotic arm. You may be wondering, why buy a kit from Robotours when you could just build Movio? The part list is on Thingiverse. You can just order all the parts, print it, and assemble it. And that's what I was going to do. But it turns out tracking down all of the parts for Movio was extremely expensive. I was looking at almost 15 different vendors to buy all of the pieces that I needed. So it was easily $150 to $200 just in shipping alone. And with a kit, you know you get the right supplies. Why do I need a six axis robotic arm? And that's a good question. One, I thought it'd be fun to build. And two, once I'm done with it, all the motors and electronics can be reused for other projects. In the ideal case, I will be using this robotic arm to help me with small component placement on PCBs and be my third hand when soldering. It actually looks like an industrial robot. In the next video, we're gonna do the wiring and the electronics, and then we're gonna show this guy how to move. We're gonna use the Xbox controller to program movements. I want to thank Robot Tours for including us in the beta, and don't forget to subscribe to be updated on the 6-axis build. My name is Dr. D-Flow, and thanks for watching.